Part two, right. I've done quite a bit of filleting now, so I'm just gonna do the last one. Fillage. Now I haven't filmed all the fillage in because well that would take a long time. I'm just going to adjust this slightly. It's, it's not very really good. Yeah. So like I say, I haven't done filmed all the filleting because it would just take a long time. Now you may notice I'm going up the fish against the backbone, which is normally a big no-no. Well, these these fillets have been in brine and they're well, they're quite stiff, so it's actually the best way of doing it. So you get the fillets off like that, and then you of course you remove the rib bones. We don't want any big rib bones; they're uncomfortable. There we are. And then what you do with these is you peel. It's like a membrane of outer skin. There's no scales, they've been descaled, but there's still that membrane of skin which comes off just like that. Now then, I'll rip the bones out of this one. I'll just put some more light on because it's a little bit better. That, that's better, we can see a bit more now. So now I'll just remove the rib bones. From this one, there we are, and again the membrane. There we go, super. Okay, right. I'll just bundle these up for now, and that's all the all the bits that now all those bits that I'll, I'll be using in the spring when I start putting my whelk pots out, my crab pots out. But for now, we're concentrating on the sill, the herrings, pickling jar. I'm not sure if it's going to be big enough. Well, we'll see. We'll see. That's all you can do, isn't it? Right. So now what we do is cut these fillets into pieces. See this sort of that size, the piece of fillets. So yeah, a little bit boring putting these in a glass, but that's just part of it. So I think I'll do one more flip there. And we'll call that a full jar. So that was three fish into this full jar. Six fillets. So I've got two fillets left. Uh, four fillets left, two fish. 
So I'll just get a smaller jar. Try this one. Here we go, then. Let's get these in. Now, as regards homemade produce, I always think. It's worth the effort. It, it generally tastes better. Um, the mass-produced stuff, often in my opinion, you know, you can you can tell it's been factory produced. There's certain processes they use that alter the taste and the texture, especially the te texture. Now it's years since I've done these these herrings, and the last time I did it was back in 2000 and 2004 when I lived over on Shelley over near Copenhagen. And I caught a lot, and um, it worked out really well. So it's a few years, fifteen, and um, and I know that last time I did it, they tasted much better than the shop bought ones because the shop bought ones tend to be too sweet and too slimy, whereas when we do it like this, they're um, well, they're not slimy, and the 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 flesh is a much more solid consistency. But now we're finished with the filleting. We're finishing with processing the fish. The fillets are in, so now it's time to wash hands. Let's just go over here and wash hands quickly. There we are, so the hands are washed. Get rid of the plate. So, as I said, we want some sugar, but not too much. So I'm going to put in one, two, three in the small jar. One, two, three, four, and five in the big jar. And then I'll just put in a splash of water, just a splash. That's it, no more. And then the vinegar and this is actually pickling vinegar that you can get here in Denmark any any vinegar can you could actually do it in malt vinegar and I know some people do things here uh, like apple cider vinegar oh the, the, the list is endless what you can use There we are, pickled herring. Some of you might think, oh, that's disgusting. But trust me, it's lovely. You know, roll mops in the old days. And these on rye bread with uh, curry salad and, a, and boiled egg. It's very nice. So, there we go then. That's the end of the episode of pickled herrings. Now, the next time I do some herring, I'll I will get some on the smoker and uh, I'll do an effort and hopefully I'll have caught them myself. So it's going to be catch, clean and smoke herring this winter. That's the plan. So stay tuned, stay out of trouble and I'll talk to you soon. This is Give It A Swing signing out.